Hi Scorpio, welcome, welcome back. This is a reading for Scorpio Sun, Moon and Rising. You might find though that this resonates more if Scorpio is your Moon or your Rising sign. Okay. All right, so it seems like there is silence. They are admiring you, watching you from afar. Um, how do they think of you? How do they see you? They see you as this Queen of Wands energy. Now, just because she's a queen, it doesn't mean that you have to be a woman watching this. Um, but this is the energy of someone who... Okay, sometimes she's she's like the, the woman or the man who's unobtainable. Um, someone who seems to have everything. Um, you know, looks, personality, intelligence, humour. Um, they're independent, but at the same time they're warm, you know, almost someone who at times can seem too good to be true. They see you as someone who is very well manifested, you know, and if you want something, you can make it happen, you can manifest it for yourself. Um, I'm getting the feeling, for most of you, this won't be all of you, your person hasn't really seen behind the scenes. So what I mean by that is your connection maybe hasn't been, hasn't had the opportunity to become very grounded um so they've not seen they haven't seen all of your faces let's say um they they may have seen sort of the best version of you or um you know they've seen a few aspects but they haven't really seen everything and it's not to say that if they do they'll they will change their opinion but this is just giving me the feeling that this connection hasn't become as grounded as as it could and as perhaps you would have liked or you would like moving forward if you are in a full-blown relationship well you know congratulations your person you know even seeing everything knowing everything there is to know about you they think you're absolutely incredible and they're probably blown away you know day after day how come you keep choosing them every single day okay so what's the message, please? What are the messages for my viewers? Um, <laughs> I'm getting tango dancing as well. Maybe someone likes to dance the tango. Maybe you met at uh, tango, a malonga, something like that. Can we get another card, please? What's the final message? Ooh, okay. Wow, so I won't take all of those, but I will take the tower and what I saw before the Empress. Okay. So we're still seeing some of this energy where your person is saying, you know, time's about to run out. Is time about to run out? Has it run out? You know, they're realizing your worth. As I was saying, everything with the Queen of Wands, we've got the Empress confirming this now. The Empress is an amazing manifesto she's very abundant she's not sort of egotistical about it though at all um and it's almost like with the empress the more abundant she becomes the more abundance she draws towards her because she's in that vibration so your person it's like they're watching you go from strength to strength and admiring you from afar not really speaking not really communicating or reaching out this is very interesting to me because they're saying in some way, shape or form, their mindset, their thoughts are limited. They really believe that if they were to go forward or to move forward with this, if they were to spread their wings, their wings would be pierced and it would, it would end before it even began. They're saying, how can this move forward? But at the same time, they have this deep intuitive knowing that it's, it's moving forward, whether they are ready or not, whether it's comfortable or not, they can't see how but they know it's happening. It feels fated to them. So if your person has been very reticent in the past, very reluctant to open up, to speak from their heart space, they're saying that their ego has taken a hit if they thought you would always be there, if you would always wait, if you would always chase them, if you would always try to get to, um, you know, if you would always try to get into their feelings to understand what was going on, um, you've stopped trying. And it's kind of, <laughs> it's, um, it's knocked them off of their high horse, but in a positive way. And they're saying holding back has not led to the success that they were anticipating. Um, and now it's possible 
that it, it might be too late. And I won't keep going over that message because, as I've said, it's come up so many times recently. Um, so if you haven't, if this is your first time here, you might want to go back and look at a few of my um, most recent readings because we keep seeing your person saying, I understand that time is running out. Maybe it's already run out. How can I rescue this? You know, what shall I do? Okay, so I think we should go to the High Priestess and find out a little bit more about what your person is thinking while they're being quiet. They're watching you, that is for sure. I actually think you know this. Um, I don't think that will be a surprise to you. Because you're the Queen of Wands, you know, Queen, King of Wands. You are extremely successful in your life right now in the 3D or in a particular area. At least this is how they're perceiving you, but you are very intuitive and you have a good sense of what's going on at the moment. So you, you probably know that they're watching from afar, gathering information about you, but they're not saying anything to you. So let's have a look at this High Priestess. What's this person thinking, please, while they're sitting there in silence observing? I'm feeling that they cannot get enough, whatever avenues they have to watch you. To, to glean information about you. It's like they want more if it's something, if it's like Instagram, they want you to post even more so they can learn more about you. Um, if, I don't know, if they're getting information about you from a mutual friend or a coworker, it's like whatever information or gossip this friend or coworker has, they want more, it's, you know, it's never enough. So this person understands now that there was a false start. Um, they want this opportunity back because why? Yep, you're the empress to them. They understand your value, your worth. Um, and they want, basically they want another chance here. Some of you, I can feel you saying, no, absolutely not. You know, I've released this person. What they were offering wasn't enough. I will only be happy to move forward and give this another go if they're bringing something more to this connection than they were before. What they're saying is they understand this and if they move towards you, they know instinctively, they understand that they've got to release everything that's holding them back, holding this connection back. They have to be able to open up. They have to become more mature in the way they communicate with you. And so, you know, that's probably why they're watching you from afar. Some of them have got a bit more growing to do. For others of you, your person is saying, I'm afraid to release these things, even though I know they're limiting me. So why would I come forward to you when I know this is my last chance and I know that you wouldn't be happy with this energy, but this is the energy I'm holding on to. You know, I'm not going to come forward yet. Yeah, see, they've chosen you, but this is the thing. For some reason, they can't either be honest with you, they have got some work to do in terms of how they communicate, or they're trying to figure out a way to express themselves to you that can be clear. It won't cause arguments. They don't want to come back in this energy of mind games. You know, they have to win. Like I said, you've already taken their ego down a notch. Um, and if they come back in this energy, it's just... it's. I would say it would start a cycle all over again, you know, of, of sort of arguments, silent treatment, all of that, but it won't because you just won't engage, you know, um, and they know this. So that's why they're saying, okay, I have to, to get myself straight. I have to get myself right and then come forward. Meanwhile, um, I'm watching you. I'm watching everything you're doing, literally everything. There's not a post, a post that I don't see, um, or a conversation I don't know about, or that's a bit creepy, isn't it? <laughs> there's not, you know, um, if there's anyone new in your life, I know about them in some way, shape or form, um, but I want to know more. You know, I want to know even more about what's going on. Okay. So let's see what it is that they want then. So their message is quite clear. They're watching you. You know, they realize they messed up. They missed an opportunity with uh, someone who's incredible. In fact, with the Empress, you know, there's no one, as far as they're concerned, there's no one they're going to meet who is more perfect for them than you. You could have all of the kings, all of the queens, and they're never going to be, um, you know, an Empress or an Emperor. 
So they realise this now, they want to come forward and communicate, but they're saying, oh, I'm not ready yet, I'm not ready yet, I know I only have one chance, if I mess this up, then it's over, let me plan, let me prepare a little bit more, let me continue to watch you in the meantime. Okay, so what is it that this person wants with my viewer, please? They want it to be just you and them. If there's someone on their side or your side or several people sort of interfering, they're saying, I want these people gone because look, they're just causing problems, chaos. It could be that they've got to let these people go. And for me, the five of wands, it's not just saying there's a third party, it's saying, it's a friend group, it's um, parents they have to go against, it's, um, you know, it's several people vying for their time, their attention that they've got to say no to. Yeah, the two of cups in reverse, because they understand this is a deep soul connection. Um, they want this opportunity to come back around, but so in the past, there were obstacles, there were people in the way, and they're saying, well, if this is going to work, we can't bring this energy with us. Mm. For some of them, they want you to choose them over someone else, but they don't want to just come out and say it because they might not like the answer. You might say, no, you know, I have feelings for you, but I'm not choosing you. And then they would be crushed. So I know that's not for all of you. We have the Hermit. So we've got Virgo there. We also have Taurus energy, Libra as well. Scorpio. Um, okay. <laughs> I couldn't get this card up. You know, this person doesn't want to admit that they were wrong. They don't want to tell you this. They don't want to come back. I heard come crawling back. There's, there's a sense of, even though they're not maybe as much in their ego as they were, they don't really want to admit it. This, this card normally, the Six of Cups, is normally about dividing time and attention, but I actually feel that what I'm getting, the energy I'm getting from this card is your person saying, look, here's, here's all my money, here's my time, I want to give it all to you, and they're just like pouring this out of the bag towards you. They want to give you everything now. And they also, some of them don't know. Yes, see, the Seven of Cups, confusion. They don't know what it is they need to offer you um, to have another go here. Um, they might feel like they're, they're kind of throwing everything they have at you, hoping something sticks. So they might not know, is it more time? Is it more stability, more commitment, more focus? Um, is it more attention? Do they need to take you out on dates? I just don't think, that's not a reflection of you, it's not to say you've not made yourself clear. I don't think they've met anyone like you before. I don't think they know what they're doing in this connection. They understand they've got to show up in a better way but they're not sure how. It's like I'm getting an image of, of someone playing darts, but the darts are going everywhere, but at the bullseye. They're not even on the dartboard, you know? This person's saying, but I can't go in with that scattered energy because I have one chance. I can't keep throwing darts and hoping I get it right. I have to aim properly. But what is it? What does my person need? It could be several things because there were several things that I, I, you know, I wasn't doing these things in the past. I wasn't being stable. I wasn't showing them respect. I wasn't opening up about my feelings. What do they need? What should I bring this time? I feel some of you saying, well, what's wrong with all of that? <laughs> bring all of that, you know? Okay, let's see. So what does this person want, please, with my viewer? What do they want? Yes, the biggest message coming out is they want you to choose them. Judgment, making a final decision. So this isn't necessarily an unbiased truth, but in their opinion, there is someone or people on your side who is or who are preventing you and your person from coming together and they're saying I want you to choose me I want you to be single and available for me they're not telling you this they're not mentioning this to you they're not letting you know this is a problem um, it could even be that because they're so busy watching you um, gathering bits of information, making assumptions they've decided they have competition perhaps that can be the five of ones energy as well and they're saying just choose me and you're saying why would I just choose you when I haven't heard from you in however long as far as I'm concerned there might not even be anything here to choose you know so I, I think 
communication needs to happen and your person knows this, but they're saying, I'm not ready. I need to be really, really prepared. What's under here? Yeah, see, the page of cups in reverse. There's going to be a message. Um, it is delayed because your person feels like this tiny message has to be, you know, everything. It has to be perfect. And they don't want to send this message and waste this chance. Okay, so um, let's get some of these messages and see. Would you give me the chance to make things right between us? Exactly. They feel that you would, but they have to come forward in the best way possible. And you know, for so many of you, it's not that you really want to walk away from this connection or for it to be done, but you, you just can't. You're at a point where you simply cannot accept it again, how it has been. It has to, it has to be different. The connection, your person, everything has to show up differently. You know, you're in this vibration now, nothing will do but your match, your emperor. Lying was just easier for me than telling you the truth. So they lied about something, probably their feelings. Even someone's actions can lie, you know, um, maybe they suggested through behaviour that they didn't value you. Yeah, I'm sorry I held myself back with you. This person has struggled or hasn't wanted in the past to tell you or show you how they felt because lying was easier. So now they're struggling. Well, I have to come forward. I have to speak my truth. How do I do this? How do I do everything I was trying not to do before? I just got sidetracked. So some of them um, may have, have focused on something else over you, put other people, other things above, above you. I can't speak. Um, that whole grass is greener thing. Maybe they thought there was always something more interesting or someone more interesting. Yeah, I'm still trying to find myself. You know, I know I've, I've got to sort of um, do better and I'm working on myself and I'm not ready yet and I'm not coming forward until I'm, I'm you know, as far as I'm concerned, as perfect as I can be. Your words linger in my mind. So this is the thing. They've been watching you. There may be something you've said, posted, and they're thinking about this, trying to figure out what this means. Is it about them? Um, does this mean you're seeing somebody else? Um, you know, whatever it is, or you've said something to them, whether it's recently or in the past, and now it's it's going around their mind. So never think that what you say is irrelevant to your person. They pay more attention than um, they're letting on. Yeah, look, how could you still love me after all I've done? So they know that in the past they treated you like, you know, a servant when you were the emperor or the empress. Okay, any other messages? Okay, let's end. Well, not end, but we'll, we'll finish with this deck, with this one. Wow, look, we will be together again. Yeah, your person is determined, um, and they, they're determined for this to be a success, which is why they don't want to rush. And it's also why they're saying, um, I want you to choose me, because we're going to be together, and I don't want there to be any distractions. I don't want there to be anybody else around you. Okay, so let's get some cards from this deck. What does this person want my viewer to know, please? My subscriber, what do they want them to know? I'm hearing 27, I don't know if that's significant for anybody, or the number nine, if you break the two and the seven down. Um, body language, this is exactly it. So in the past, they may have done things or said things that weren't true, weren't authentic. So this person is saying, pay more attention to my actions, to my body language, to the feeling that you get from me than to my words, because um, this is the truth of how I feel. You know that this sort of, um, the layman's um, knowledge we all have about body language. So if somebody is facing away from you, don't 
be concerned with that. Look at where their feet are pointing. If their feet are pointing towards you, there's an interest there. You know, that sort of thing. I'm sure it's much more nuanced, but um, that's what they're saying. Pay attention to my body language, to what I'm not saying. Pay attention to what I'm doing, to what I have done in the past. You know, if I say it's over, I don't want to speak to you, but I keep coming back, pay attention to my action. And also your body language, your energy, your actions are showing them that you're not you're not doing that anymore, whatever that is for you, you know? You've leveled up and that's it. You're not you can't you know, you're not leveling down. <laughs> okay. Oh, again, are you kidding me? This is a really odd card and it came out I think in my last um reading when we did messages so we have prostitution again so again this could be to do with direct sex work it could be to do with your person feeling like they're exploiting themselves in some way shape or form let's actually get a tarot card on that in a minute i don't i just i just don't think that for all of you um your person is saying hey by the way i like prostitutes you know seems unlikely maybe some of you okay it could be with this card you know it, prostitution aside in all its um, forms it could be that they're saying there's something they do or have done and if you know about it, if you find out about it, you might, it might be a deal breaker for you. Now it may not be, and maybe you already even know about this, um, but they are, they're perhaps worried um, about you knowing and sharing this with you. I want to live with you. Okay, so this person um, thinks about building a life with you, um, a home. This is obviously quite a serious commitment. So, yeah, okay, they're serious. Let's keep going. Okay, any other messages, please? I've been thinking... <laughs> How intriguing so let's get a card on this as well in a moment and see what exactly they've been thinking they've been thinking they want to live with you we know that oh wow they want to live with you and marry you okay I like your family and friends so when they think about the people you surround yourself with they're saying you know I could get on board with that I can see myself fitting in um, or if, even if they can't, even if they feel very different in some way, they're saying, I would like to. I like the people around you. Yes, it should be me in the photo with you. So this confirms they are watching you. They're looking at something to do with you and they're saying, choose me. Now, it could be a photo of you with a romantic partner. It could be just you with friends having a good time. And they're saying that should be me standing there with you. And then we have best friend, exactly. So maybe you have a photo with a best friend um, and they want to be sharing that joy with you. Um, but they're saying you are the person that they go to when you know, they're just not feeling great or if they are and something amazing happens, you're the person they share it with. Now, if, they, if you're not in communication, they still think of you. The idea of you, your connection, maybe fantasies about you, that's where they go to feel better. Um, if, if, you know, like I said, if something great happens, then they imagine telling you. Um, they, just, they just feel that this connection, it covers everything. Friendship, companionship. Um, you feel like home, you feel like family, you feel like a romantic partner. Oh, and... <laughs> Yeah, they've definitely been thinking and fantasizing about you. My best orgasms have been over you. So, um, ego boost. Also, if you've never even been with this person, um, well, you know, congratulations. You, your, their orgasms over you have been even better than the ones they've had about, you know, people they've been with or people they've been with at the time. So, um, yeah, it's definitely an attraction. And you see what I mean? We've got best friend but also all of this passion as well. Plus they want to live with you. 
plus they want to marry you. Okay, so let's see. What have they been thinking about, please? Can you give us a card? What has this person been thinking about? They've been thinking about making a move. They've been quiet for too long. I'm hearing resting on their laurels. They've, you know, they, they need to take some action. It's no good sticking with things how they are, doing what they've been doing every day, carrying on, something needs to change. So that's what they've been thinking about. And we know that from the reading. So um, what was the other one? Oh, was it prostitution? Is that what I wanted to? Yeah, I think so. So can you give us a card please for prostitution? Tell us more about this please spirit. What's the message here? Yeah, this person, whatever this is, however it um, sits with them, they don't really want to talk about it. They think that it might be a deal breaker that you um, you won't be interested or something like that. Can you? Okay, so whatever it is they think that you don't know, like I said, that doesn't mean that you don't know. Can you give us anything for this this card, please? Yeah, it's something they've done, something to do with their past. And you see all these roots down here, how they're below ground. It's like, um, you know how people say, oh, so-and-so has a colorful past and it's meant in a kind of negative way. There's something they have done or um, a way of living that you, they've tried not to tell you about. They've tried not to expose you to this because if you think of the roots, you can't see them. You can just see this tree. It's it's very, um, there's nothing hidden. It's just a, you know, a black tree, that's it. There are no shades. You know, you know what you're getting when you look at this tree. But there's something they haven't openly discussed with you, a side of themselves perhaps they haven't shown you. And they're saying, if you know, if you knew this, knew this about me, if you knew about this particular thing from my past, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want me. In fact, I'm hearing horrified, you might be horrified. Um, you might already know, and they're stressing themselves out for nothing. Maybe you're not, you know, I don't know, thrilled about it, or maybe you just don't care, but let's see. Does my viewer know about this, please, whatever this is? But look, at the centre, marry me. So your person is the... That's what I said, they're not going to rush this. They've got to do it right because they're serious. And they don't want to just chuck a bunch of stuff at you and hope you pick something up and say, oh, this will do. Okay, so we've got a Queen of Pentacles. This could be a spouse, a mother, a mother of a child, and the Three of Cups in the reverse. Okay, I'm getting a whole bunch of messages. For some of you, this is about a situation with their mother or how um, they were raised, how their parents behaved. They could be embarrassed. This could be to do with your person saying they cheated in the past on a spouse or on a partner and you might that might make you cautious of, of being with them, of committing to them. Um, there's something to do, however it sits with you and your person, but there's something to do with an uncomfortable dichotomy between being free-spirited, being non-committal versus settling down. And it's almost like they're saying, I'm living a life now that looks very, you know, respectable, very settled on the surface, but this is my past. Um, maybe they have hung around people they think you wouldn't approve of, or, you know, whatever it is, I'm not going to go through every scenario, but I just feel you might already know, and if you don't know, you wouldn't be surprised. Um, and it may not be as bad as they think. The reason they think it's that you wouldn't accept this is because they're looking at you as this empress and they, they're making some assumptions about you. Um, you know, if you think of like a 15th century court, the king and queen wouldn't socialize with um, the maid, you know, or the, um, the man who cleans out the stables. So let's say, um, the maid decides, oh, where am I going with this? <laughs> okay, let's decide the, the stable boy, which that's what they're called, isn't it? A stable boy and the queen have a connection. The stable boy is going to assume that the queen, um, finding out about certain things from his past is going to look down on the stable boy. But actually, 
just because she's a queen doesn't mean that she hasn't lived, doesn't mean that she doesn't know things, doesn't mean that she's judgmental or snooty, you know? And I'm not saying that's what your person thinks of you, but just as an example, there's some way in which they're seeing you as being above them. How many air quotes am I gonna do? <laughs> they're seeing you as being above them or um, putting you on a pedestal, thinking that you, you live a really um, lovely, life and they've done something that they're ashamed of that's it they feel uncomfortable about it so they're assuming you might as well but maybe you wouldn't okay hope that makes sense so yes i will leave it here i hope this helps um if you would like to book a reading with me the link is in the description box below um what else did i want to say Nothing. Okay, good. So I will see you on Friday and we'll have a look at what's hidden. So anything you need to know um, about your connection, whether it's to do with your person, maybe yourself, something spirit wants to point out to you, um, any blockages, anything really. So take care and I will see you then. Oh, no. How could I forget? We're doing the one card, one question, one card reading. If you want to enter for next time, put your question in the comments. But if you're leaving, yes, I will see you next week. Next week, Friday. Rithu, thank you for your question. So let's have a look. Spirit, should Rithu contact her person? What I would say about this is it, ultimately you have to do what feels right for you. So sit quietly, take a moment to go within. If you think about reaching out to your person, how does it feel for you regardless of him? So imagine him replying, how does that feel? Imagine him not replying. Does it still feel okay? Does it still feel that that was the right thing for you to do? Um, if your happiness with your decision is based on a response, maybe it's not the best time, but let's have a look what Spirit says. So, should she reach out to her person, please? Can you give us a card? Okay, that's too many. The Seven of Swords, okay, so this is a caution. If you're doing it for some sort of reason that's not entirely clear, um, or if you have ulterior motives, Spirit is saying, no, only reach out if you can be completely authentic. So what I mean by this is, if you reach out and you put on this energy of being carefree, lighthearted, um, you know, like, hi, just checking in, how's it going? But really, you're not feeling that way. You feel that this conversation is much more serious. It means a lot more. Your person will pick up that there's some kind of inauthenticity, insincerity, and they might become suspicious. They might not reply. They might clam up. Um, this could also be saying your person may not give you an honest response at this time. Let me get another card and see. you clarify this Seven of Swords for us, please? Clarify this Seven of Swords. Yeah, so I feel Spirit saying, go ahead with your message, um, but only if and when you're, you feel really confident to be authentic. Because it's not to say you're doing anything or you would be doing anything massively deceptive. You know, I mean, we could say, if you could walk down the street and you see someone and you say, how are you? And they say, fine, and they're not, we could say that's a kind of deception. But it's just that your person will know that this message, this communication isn't completely authentic and it will make them suspicious. Um, and that's kind of not the energy you want to put them in because then they won't be open with you. And the conversation will probably end before it even really got anywhere. So I think it's a green light, but try to do it um, when you feel good, when you feel confident and be as authentic as you can. Okay, so I hope that helps. Um, thank you, everybody. And I will see you on, I keep wanting to say next week, on Friday. Okay.